Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we're going to play the three sea captains. Three Sea Captains is an interesting little tune. Um, it occurs both in English and Irish music. In Irish music it's a set dance and is usually played quite slow. In English it's a Morris dance and played at a kind of uh, medium tempo. But it can be played as an up-tempo Irish jig. It has an interesting story behind it. Uh, the Battle of Navarino was in 1827, a naval battle between the British, French and Russians on one side fighting the Ottomans and Egyptians on the other side during the Greek War of Independence and I'm sure you all knew that. Um, so the three sea captains uh, were the British, French and Russian uh, admirals. However in 1827 when this battle happened the tune had unfortunately already been written uh, for at least 30 years. So it just goes to show that you should never let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> I presume you could say that it became an appropriate story at the time and so it was adopted uh, but uh, to, to say that this tune was written in uh, memory of these three sea captains would certainly be false. Anyway, let's go through it nice and slowly and I'll show you, there's a few variations here and there which I'll give you. Uh, but we'll just go straight through the tune nice and slow to start with. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Now there's quite a lot of little ornaments that you can put in, um, hammer-ons for example in the second bar. So we're just preceding that melody note with the note below it, the B. And you could do a C-sharp under that D. And a hammer-on downwards onto that A. If you're playing this English style, then some open G drones would be nice. Now here, um, that triplet is not necessary, you could do that if you wanted. Uh, one nice variation that quite a lot of people do is a little chromatic run. So I think that's worth doing. Um, then we uh, sometimes people will repeat the A section and repeat the B section. Uh, sometimes it's just one A section and one B section. I, I've looked at quite a few online versions and uh, there's lots of different ways of doing it. But if you're playing it for a set dance uh, for an Irish dancer, then you better make sure you've got the right version. Um, if you look at bars 21 and 22. That another version is playing little arpeggios, which is quite nice. And then the next two bars um, are quite often played like that, and uh, both are equally valid. Um, 
So if you're playing that with other people, then it's good to be aware of how they're going to approach it. The A major chord there in that section um, is something that will take a, an accompanist uh, unawares. They won't be expecting that. So if you're playing this as a tune where the guitar guitarist has turned around and said, give us a tune, and um, he, he's never actually played this, then you better warn him that that is coming, because otherwise he'll miss it. And there's nothing worse <laughs> than being let down by your accompanist. Uh, let's do all of this with some backing. tempo is more or less what you would do for an Irish step dancer. If you're playing this in a pub session you'd almost certainly play it quite a lot faster. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, thank you for watching. If you would like a copy of the dots then subscribe and send me an email and I'll send you a copy. And I'll play you out with uh, the slightly faster version.